Licorice Pizza was a record store chain that was in business from 1969 until 1986. Welcome to Eric C Productions. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified of my latest video that are posted during the week. Please leave a suggestion or a comment and maybe you might even see that video in a future posting. Thanks for watching and now back to the program. He just couldn't wait, so he hired me to find out what his wife was giving him for Christmas. He turned out to be one lucky guy. Camouflage by Rod Stewart. Some guys have all the luck. Chicago 17. Breaking Hearts by Elton John. And Like a Virgin by Madonna. I know a good idea when I hear one. This Christmas, I'm giving music. Prince's Purple Rain. It's going to be a very purple Christmas. On sale at Licorice Pizza for $6.99 on LP or cassette. James Greenwood opened the first licorice pizza in Long Beach in 1969. In the 1960s, an American folk duo named Bud and Travis made a joke about sprinkling records with sesame seeds and selling them as licorice pizzas. Greenwood thought that that would make a great name for a record store in Los Angeles. The chain was a major player in record retailing during the 1970s, opening dozens of stores including a large location on Sunset and La Cienega Boulevards, Kitty Corner from the Whiskey A Go Go in West Hollywood, not far from Tower Records Sunset Strip Megastore. For teenagers coming of age in the 1970s who were looking for that song they just heard on K-Met or maybe even K-Rock. Most probably went to Licorice Pizza to find that record. For many 1970s and 1980s teens, Licorice Pizza was probably their first record store experience. Through the 70s and the early 80s, Licorice Pizza expanded rapidly and essentially became a regional chain record store in Southern California with 34 stores at its height. By the early 1980s, Licorice Pizza went from beyond being a record store to getting into the highly lucrative video rental business. Now all I had to do is ask, where is the beta section? By 1986, Licorice Pizza was deriving more of its income from video rentals than from actually selling music. Did you know that Licorice Pizza was also seen in Fast Times at Ridgemont High? In March of 1986, Mr. Greenwood sold his Licorice Pizza empire to Record Bar Inc. of Durham, North Carolina. The next month, that same year, Minneapolis-based Musicland bought Record Bar Inc. for $13 million. One reason Musicland wanted Licorice Pizza in their fold was their desire to get into the very lucrative Southern California video rental business. During the sale of Licorice Pizza, it was reported that Musicland would keep the Licorice Pizza name, but as in the case of Thrifties, The Broadway, you get the idea. The name Licorice Pizza would quickly become a memory. Many licorice pizza locations during 1987 became either Musicland or Sam Goody. Hey, if you just watched my video, thanks for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe to Eric C. Productions.